this is kind of a subchapter. As we talked about exporting mesh objects, you can actually export sculpt and prim objects as mesh using the Darkstorm Viewer. Pretty much doing the same thing we did with the other ones. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So we're going to right click on the hair and instead of going Darkstorm um, XML export, we're going to go down to the bottom and click save as and as Colada. And this will allow us to export our hair. So I'm just going to show sculpt the hair and this will allow us to save our sculpt and as a mesh so when we go to look at it it will be mesh instead of sculpt now the downside to that is that the hair follicles here the flexi um prims here don't come out as mesh they will be little tiny square spec thingies uh, flexi prims do not export as mesh unfortunately um, even though we tried it, it just doesn't work so you'll get all the sculpted and pretty stuff but not the flexi the hair things right there so you have to bring those back in yourself um you can also do the same thing for this building right here I don't know anything about the physics slash collisions of houses. I never got the swing of it, so I can't really give a tutorial or any advice on that. And unfortunately, okay, now right, now there it is. All right. Now, when you go to import it, you may get an error. So let me see if it works. Raw build upload mesh model. Let's see. Sculpt it here. Okay, so I'm going to try to upload it. And you may get this error down here. Element is invalid. You'll have to run it through Blender first and have it reconvert it as a proper uh, mesh. So I'm going to open up Blender real quick. And I'm going to go to File, wherever it is. Um, desktop new oh my documents that's why <laughs> uh, new folder new dark sun tutorial hair sculpted hair and you see when I bring it in where all the flexies were it's kind of these uh, flat tubes so we don't want that and all of this will be in part. I don't really like when that happens. So I'll always just join it. So remove some prints that we don't need. Don't need the brand box. Let's get that out of here. Oh, I think that was attached to something. Oh no, that's just where my ear will be. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove the brand box because I don't need that. And position box, don't need that either. Just gonna select control um wait put my thing on so that's why we're gonna press a and select everything we'll click it first then select a and join it get everything wait for it wait for it i'm gonna pause it because we waiting for a while okay so it's joined in one piece um press it and we we'll go to another window because it's hair we joined it so we're gonna put the texture on it we'll get that stupid error so we're gonna uv map and um let's see press n over here let's see select like this go into edit mode press tab and go into edit mode if it will work so laggy right now Okay, and then press A and select all the hair. And we're going to press the N key. And we're going to make sure we check all of these boxes. So I'm going to check, pause this and check all these boxes real quick. Okay, so we have all of the boxes checked. 
that make up the UV faces and then we're gonna just press this button copy to whatever print map is there I'm just gonna wait for it to do its thing I'm gonna pause it because this may take a while especially since I'm recording so hold on one second okay that took a little bit longer than I expected but once it's done you'll see that all your maps have been going like this and that means that everything is done and solid and when we go to export it um, all the textures will lay right so now that we're done we're just gonna exit edit mode and hopefully my computer still isn't reeling from that one well it's lagging so much these days all right so we're just gonna leave edit mode and go back into object mode okay so now that we have it we're just going to export it and go to file export um, as a day and you want to use the regular one not the avastar day and we're going to use the static mesh template and we're going to actually check the include material textures this is excluding everything and we can save it so it's a sculpt mesh so you don't have to check that again and I'm going to get out of my thing my documents and go right here and I'm going to save it as sculpted here to import before I exported it but can't do nothing about it now there we go Okay, if you find that the hair is a little too high for your comfort, you can simply go over to the little wrench here, and that's where the modifiers are. And we're going to select the decimate box. And you'll see the face count here. We want to bring it down. Basically, what you're going to do is to find the right amount of decimation needed for your mesh. Uh, it's just zoom in angle your character uh, character <laughs> zoom in angle your hair in such a way where you can see it and then slowly bring the count down uh, you want to stop before it looks too jagged you want to try to get it low where it still looks the same but um, at a lower count so I'm gonna try to do it but my computer's laggy because I have dark storm open and blender and those two together don't like it so you'll see that it still has its shape and there's no holes and once you get to a good place you want to stop and apply so I'm just going to look at it all around it doesn't look too bad it still has a shape and it's drastically different so I'm going to hit apply try to decimate it some more it shouldn't be as heavy now so it may work a little bit better so let's try lowering it again whoa that's too decimated so you see what I mean by you reduce it to the point where the shape starts to change and you see it looks a little bad so we're gonna whoa it looks really bad that's definitely not where you want to be so let's pull it back up a little more. Oh man, this lag is terrible. All right. Oh, for my God, fine. It's fine where it's at. If you need to decimate it some more, decimate it some more. But this is going along a little long. So I'm leaving it like this. And now I'm going to export it again. Use template for everything. And um, hair and sculpty hair. Number two. Uh, there we go. Alright, see how much faster that was because it's not so heavy. So let's go back into Darkstorm real quick, even though I don't have permissions on this account. Let's see if it works. Close Blender. Yes.
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the reason why I was freezing so bad is because I had Sony Vegas open. Oh, so I have Vegas and Second Life and Blender and this recorder. Blech. Alright, um, okay, so now we're back in Second Life. And we're going to go to Build if it won't stop lagging. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, sorry about that, but I lagged up really bad and had to jump over to the beta grip. So I'm going to import our um, the hair that we just exported. So I'm going to go to Upload and Mesh File. And we're going to select Sculpty Hair 2. So I'm going to be decimated it. And I'm going to wait for it to load in. As you see, it try and count still bananas, but whatever. So we're going to turn that to zero, zero, turn off the sound, I hate coming to sandboxes. All right, zero, zero, um, include the textures. You can see the textures are here because we did that thing. Um, calculate weights and feet for the land impact and how much it costs. Alright, so let's try slapping it on my dome. Attached to the skull. I'm gonna remove this here. Wait for the next one to come in. And there you have it. We have sculpty hair to mesh hair. How to transform your sculpty hair to mesh hair, and that's how you do it. I mean, of course, it's not rigged, you'll have to rig it, but that should help out people who want to make hair or still have those old uh, sculpty hair kits and want to make hair off of it. And you can just export it like that, and you can turn it into mesh. I mean, of course, it's not <laughs> sitting right on my head. Let me go to a pose stand. Press me the pose stand. Sit here for a second. And turn off me yo. Uh, so like this. And because it is one prim. Oh, it's not one perm anymore. I can just select it. Oh, it's one impact. Okay. Uh, get the point. It's on my head, sort of, kind of. <laughs> uh, okay. And that's how you make static mesh hair from sculpts. And I'm sure this thing needs some resizing and all the rest of the jazz to look good. I should think that's how it's supposed to be. What do you guys think? Do I look good as a blonde or should I stick as a brunette? <laughs> Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you on the next one and we can work on something else uh, in Darkstorm. Alright, bye!